Hello, YouTube. Become the observer of yourself. Don't focus on everyone and everything outside of you. Focus on this. Don't assume that that running dialogue in your head is you. We have scripts that we have formed over the course of our life that just go on autopilot. These interpretations, these reactions, these run-on speeches, these I can't, these I am, these this is, these he is, that we don't even know is going on. Become aware of your own thinking. Observe yourself as if you are observing another. When you find yourself in any situation, focus on yourself in the right way. When you're in a relationship, what can I do? What am I doing? In a situation, how am I responding to this, to your own emotions? Why am I feeling this. Ask yourself why and observe what you're thinking. Is this really you thinking or is this the tapes in your head? When we can pause instead of reacting and consider what's our perception, what's these autopilots, what's the conclusions, what's these tapes in our head versus the reality of life. When we can detach ourselves from ourselves to become the observer of our own mind and pause in the situation, take everything into consideration and choose to respond accordingly. We cannot control the universe. We can always control. We can't control even our emotions, our automatic emotions, our automatic thoughts. We can always control how we respond. If you have anxiety, you have a habit of worrying. If you are fearful, you may talk yourself out of something. You may have these negative tapes running through your head that I can't, it's too much. What is that based on? Comparisons to other people. The only one comparing is you. What is in your head and what is in reality? When you can objectively pause and look over yourself and what's happening in there before you respond, before you choose the action, the interpretation, the next step in the situation, you begin to form mastery over yourself. Now this could get really deep and go, well, if you are the observer of your own thoughts, that's only yet another thought. But I'm not going to get that deep. Um, the point of this is we find ourselves in a lot of situations because we react. Because we, we live in our head and not in the world. Where is your life? Where is your life? Is it in here? Is it in the future? Is it in the past? Or is it right here? Right here, right now, waiting for you to just choose to show up. Choose to show up and appreciate it. Catch your negative moods. Catch your negative thoughts. Catch your fearful thoughts. Catch your unrealistic thoughts. Catch your instantaneous emotions and instantaneous urges. Contemplate and then choose. 
the habit of choosing makes you feel actionary, powerful, confident in your capacity to handle things appropriately and make positive steps in your life. You begin to feel empowered and less disempowered. If you just go with the flow of presumption that what you are feeling, what is the first thought that comes to your mind, acting on those urges, as if your lens is true, you're not even aware of what defines your lens, <coughs> excuse me, where your shortcomings may be, what is real and what is not. We have to know what's real in a given situation. We have to act in our lives and choose the right next step. You cannot choose where you want to go, how you want to react, how you're going to feel, what you're going to believe, what you're going to allow yourself to believe to be true. To be present, to be here, to take advantage of the life that's happening, to choose the right next steps, to you cannot be free to do anything until you learn to be aware of your self. So begin to try to take a pause and police your own thoughts. Police your own emotions. Observe yourself so that you can know yourself and you can decide how you want your life to play out, how you want your day to play out, rather than being at the mercy of your mind. Reality is not in our minds. Reality is reality. Don't automatically go with what your mind conjures, what your feelings conjure, as if that is fact. Assess it. But in order to catch those things, you have to learn to observe yourself. You develop a higher self within yourself that knows how to conduct itself to your best possible end, your best possible interests. Till next time. Bye, you guys. I have a presentation to give today. I'm terribly nervous, and I've been terribly sick all morning. I can't control these things. Um, they just are. But I can recognize why they are. And I can choose to run with this and get myself all worked out. It's not going to happen. I, I can't pull it off. I, I'm too sick. I'm just not even going to go. I'm going to, this is going to happen during, I could, but that's not reality. And I can dictate how the rest of this day is going to play out. How this presentation is going to play out. Um, based on what I do with all of this. How I take it, how I analyze it, what's going on with me, with my body, with my mind and my emotions right now, and how I choose to cope, what I choose to act and do next. Conscious life, self-aware life, is so much better than autopilot. They say, know thy enemy. Know thy enemy. Become your own best friend. Your own advocate. Help yourself. By 
observation and choosing the next right action for yourself. Bye. Gotta go practice again. <laughs>